uh, cut hi guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to show you how you can set up your first jenkins pipeline using a jenkins server all right so in the previous video we have learned how we can set up a jenkins server on our system and as you can see i have opened my jenkins portal right here so now we'll set up a jenkins pipeline which will be used to automate certain tasks like building images for a github repo or any uh, other task you would you would like to automate like deployment or anything else all right so let's begin so first of all we can see uh, the dashboard of jenkins like this on our screen and now for creating a pipeline we can click on the new item button right here so you can now enter the name of your pipeline i'll just enter something like test pipeline and for this purpose we'll just create a simple pipeline so we'll just uh, there are two types of uh, pipelines declarative pipelines and scripted pipelines so for this process we'll just create declarative pipelines which are simpler to create and so we uh, the scripted pipelines while on the other hand are more flexible but complex which are written in groovy language all right so now i'll create a new pipeline job i'll just select pipeline and for this i'll just create okay after clicking on okay we can see we uh our redirect to the configuration page of our pipeline so for this you can keep somewhere a description and we can skip this for now and then we can skip the triggers for now as well these triggers uh, will be used to actually trigger uh, the build request in our jenkins so if supposedly you are using build periodically then periodically the request for building the jenkins uh, for building the jenkins pipeline will be triggered periodically all right similarly github hook trigger is the same thing we will we can configure a github github hook trigger to actually uh, trigger the build of our pipeline all right so for this purpose i'll just keep it uh, locally pipeline script uh, using a pipeline script so i'll show you how you can write a sample jenkins pipeline script or uh, you can also choose some samples from here like these they have hello world so i'll just show you how you can uh, create a simple jenkins file script for this purpose all right so first block is the pipeline block which is the main block of the script then going inside we have the agent block for this we will just select any then we have the stages block which actually declares the different stages which our jenkins build is going to have all right so first stage this is written as hello but for real real world applications there can be stages like build test and deploy so i'll just demonstrate how we can use those stages in our jenkins file so i'll just rename the stage as build and then for here i will just uh, write building the application so after the stage block we have the steps block the steps block which will have actually the functions or steps which need to be taken when the uh, process is in the stage of build all right so after we have completed the stage of build we moved we move to the next stage block which is something like maybe you want to create the testing stage then for this we can uh, write the steps as well so for the steps i can i'll just write here echo for now but in real life you can have certain steps like maybe testing the file using the uh, test.py file or something like uh, some or something else so for this i'll just keep it um running tests or something like that and then i can have another the last stage which is deploy and for this i can have the steps as just uh, echoing something like deploying the application all right so we have written a basic jenkins file for now so i'll now click on apply and then save this pipeline for now all right so for the uh, pipeline we can see we can click on build now here to build our pipeline actually so we can start the build by clicking on build now here and it is say it says build scheduled for all the logs of build you can see here and if you click on this if you click on this you can see the console output so you can clearly see 
started by user me and then it is running on jenkins and then here starts uh the process of stages so we have first stage which is building the app then we have the ne next stage which is building the uh, which is running tests and then we have deploying the app and finally you can see finished success which means our jenkins build was completed successfully so that's how easy it is to actually make a jenkins file for automation in future videos we'll see how we can advance to deploying an application creating docker images and pushing it to aws ecr docker hub automatically whenever your code is pushed to github so this is called continuous integration and continuous deployment all right so i'll just show you how you can create a jenkins file on github's uh, github uh, repository and then connect it to the jenkins pipeline all right so for our test pipeline i can go to configure now and as you can see we have currently configured the pipeline script here if i want to uh, get the get the script from from a github repo i can click on pipeline script from scm so the scm for us is get right now and for the repository url i'll just select a random repository i have a test django repository here so i'll just add a file here and i'll name it jenkins file this is the standard name you need uh, you can name it anything you want you just need to change the path inside the jenkins server for that all right so for now i will uh, paste the same file which is present there i hope it is saved yes it is so i'll save it here and then i'll commit changes and just create the jenkins file inside my repository perfect so now i can go inside my jenkins server and click on pipeline script from scm so for the repository url you can clearly select this url and just paste it here if your repository is private then you also need to create credentials here i'll show you how you can create credentials inside jenkins so for that you can click on uh, add jenkins credential and then you can click on global credentials it can be good it, uh, it you can leave it as global credentials then we have the kind which is username with password but for github uh, login we can simply use github app this will uh, allow us to store a github app password here but you can also actually store a username and password here so you can put your github username here and github password here for the id id is just the id of this credential this whole jenkins credential which will refer to in the drop down of credentials all right, so that's all that's how you can create a credentials uh credentials variable in jenkins and use it for your credentials drop down here all right moving forward after entering the repository we can specify the branch here so as you can see we are in the main branch right now so i'll just write in main branch here perfect and the script path script path is basically uh, the path of jenkins file from the root of your repository so it is currently in the root of my repository as well which is named as jenkins files which is the default right here perfect so now i think i have uh, configured my jenkins pipeline for accessing the github so now i'll click on apply and then save the pipeline right here all right so i have saved the pipeline here if i go to changes there should be none changes because the pipeline is actually this uh, because the jenkins file is actually the same now if i click on build now it should be able to access the repository uh from the repository and it should be able to access the github account and then also get the jenkins file from there so let's just wait for this to execute and i'll show you how it works all right so as you can see we have successfully built uh the build has been successfully completed if i go to console output you can clearly see that uh it, it the process starts like obtaining jenkins file from git github uh, this repository path and then it runs on jenkins then it select the git installation does not exist so it uses the default uh, git tool so there are no credentials specified because it was a public repository so they, they they were never needed for that so the first step jenkins does is clone the repository here and then it gets the jenkins file
and then it executes the Jenkins file on this system. So the Jenkins file, as you can see, it just had a few commands, which was, which was the same building the app, running tests and deploying the application. And, and at the end, we can see finished success. So that means our pipeline has run successfully and the build was completed perfectly. So that's how we can actually use Jenkins for creating a pipeline and automating the processes. In further videos, we'll see how we can actually integrate these with real-time projects, maybe uh, building a Docker image and automating the process of deployment as well. So that's it for the video. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.